Welcome to Sensational Living with Liliana. We are going to make a summer favorite, which is strawberry shortbread cake, but it's gonna be keto style. So very little carbohydrates. I'd say a slice is gonna be somewhere about seven to eight carbohydrates at the most, and that includes the strawberries. So what I'd like to start out doing is making the whipping cream, and I'm gonna use a coconut whipping cream, and this way it can be dairy-free completely. Now the thing about the coconut whipping cream, you wanna get it really cold. So pretty much when I buy whipping cream, I automatically just store them in the refrigerator. Because if, if they're not cold, because remember, coconut is a good fat that solidifies. So if I keep it in the fridge and I whip it up, it whips up really a lot faster than regular whipping cream. So again, you're just gonna want it, now it's gonna be very thick, but then there's gonna be liquid on the bottom, so you're just gonna wanna go ahead and pour that in. Then you're gonna wanna turn your Cuisinart just like you would, just a, a I mean your KitchenAid or your blend or your mixer, just like you would any other normal whipped cream. It's exactly the same. And you wanna put it on a pretty high speed. So I've already kind of got this going so we don't have to wait so long so we can get on to our next step. So you can just see it's gonna be beautiful because it's nice and thick, just like a regular whipping cream is. I'm gonna add a little bit of a no sugar sweetener, which is monk fruit, Lakanto. I really like this one a lot better than I do xylitol because it doesn't give any uh, upset to the GI, which xylitol can. So I'm gonna go ahead to that and add about a tablespoon. Now just know that uh, the coconut whipping cream is gonna be sweeter than your um, regular heavy whipping cream from dairy. So you might not need as much sweetener in this. So I'm only gonna put a tablespoon of the Lakanto sweetener in there. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of some organic vanilla. Perfect. So I'm just gonna turn it off for a moment. I'm gonna scrape down the sides there and just get it all blended really nicely. And you can just see it just, it's what, I love this whipping cream because it whips up so much quicker than regular uh, dairy cream, which is just awesome. And you don't get the mucus mindset from it because there's no lactose in it, which is great. Okay, so I think that is absolutely perfect. Now, store this in the refrigerator while you are cooking um, your sh um, strawberry shortcake so that it stays nice and cool. There we go. So you can see there, it's perfect. It whipped up just beautifully. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just use this same bowl here. I'm not going to even clean it because there is going to be some coconut milk in my shortbread. So we don't even need to get so clean and have to take everything out. It'll be just perfectly fine. So I'm going to go ahead and set that to the side. Now this is the easiest dessert to make and really it whips up very quickly. Now I've got the oven at 350. And so as soon as I put it in the oven, I'm gonna turn it up to 400 degrees for approximately about five minutes. And then I'm gonna turn it down for 350 and cook it for another 20. So what I have here is three cups of very fine almond flour. And the good thing about almond flour is that it has a lot of protein in it and a lot of fiber. And this is why it becomes such a low carbohydrate uh, dessert. So we're just gonna go ahead and put those three cups in. And this is a beautiful dessert too. It displays really nice. It's got nice color to it. So we've got that in there. Then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of uh, what I call real salt, but that's actually the name of it. But it is actually a real salt. And it is loaded with a good amount of natural sodium that the body can actually utilize. And when it's summertime, you're sweating a lot and hopefully you're out getting a lot of activity. So it's really important to uh, correct electrolytes. So a lot of times I even tell my patients, whether it's Himalayan rock salt or this salt, to put a little bit in their water, maybe once or twice a day, just even just a little pinch or a quarter of a teaspoon, but it really helps to hydrate the body and really supports the adrenals. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that one teaspoon in there. Okay, I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Move this over here to the side. I'm gonna add a half a cup of, again, the monk fruit Lakanto sweetener. And I like the powdered one. You can use granular if you only have the granular, but I find that the powder one um, blends up really nicely. And I'm gonna be using that a little bit, to, uh, just to sweeten up the strawberries a little bit. Sometimes it's kind of a, 
a, mi a hit or miss on the strawberries because they're just starting to come into season and they can be still a little tart so having just a little bit of that sweetener on her on them makes them really uh, come out with their flavor plus it lends itself to sweat a little bit so you get a little bit of the syrupy that is just kind of really nice when you pour it over okay so what do we got here i'm going to go ahead and put this one on because this is different than the whipping one so let's go ahead and get that going so this is all the dry ingredients super simple now i'm going to take three eggs and of course these are pasture raised eggs Now to this, I'm going to add three quarter cups of coconut milk. So again, it's going to be dairy free, which is going to be nice. So I'm just going to put it directly into the eggs. And you want to get full fat coconut milk so that it's really creamy. And I just get the one that's in the can, the organic, BPA free, so we're not worried about any of the chemical residues of some cans. Good. Okay, that looks pretty good. So you want to make sure that all of those are blended up nicely where you're not going to have any little chunks of any of the baking soda. Okay, I'm just going to just drop the edges down a little bit and give it another little whirl. I can still see a little chip chunks in there here and there, but when I put the liquid in there, it's going to blend really nicely. And I believe that is the Lacanta. So if you see those little pieces in there, don't need to, you know, mix it to death. It'll, it'll blend up nicely. So now I'm going to put a quarter cup of fresh lemon juice. I'm also going to put a teaspoon of vanilla in there. So this is just that simple. Mix the wet with the dry, and then off we go. Let's bring this down a little bit so I can get every last bit out of there. Now there's one little ingredient that I forgot to add, but it's looking at me so sad and going, how about me? And so we're going to add a little bit of Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. We're not going to add much, so just probably about a half of a teaspoon. And um, I like it again better than stevia because stevia just has sometimes a little bit of a bitter bite. So this works just beautifully. And then I'm just going to take down the side so it all gets stirred in nicely. Now don't over mix it. That looks pretty good. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Make sure it's all mixed in nicely. So again, I, it's good to bring it down so that you can actually take your spoon and make sure you get all the center there because it can stick there and we don't want to have that so that when you go to pour it out into your pan half of it's not mixed in okay let's give that another stir meanwhile without stirring up i'm going to take a pan and so again it's not it's about a six inch pan not very big um, i just cut a piece of parchment paper i like using parchment better than wax paper just going to put a little bit of spray on there just so it holds it down that's it now again I just take you know you don't have to but I just take a little teeny bit of butter if you want this completely dairy free you don't have to use this I just alongside the edges so that it just lifts out nicely you don't really even have to do this honestly okay that looks perfect I'm just going to go ahead and Take that out now.
And this should be beautifully and light and fluffy. Let's give a little stir to make sure that's all mixed in nicely, which it looks like it is. Now because this has no gluten, it's not going to rise like a lot of the baking that you've noticed with your almond flour doesn't really rise, but again, we give up a little of the, of the rise so that we could have the really low carbohydrates. See, this is what I'm talking about. And so again, you as a cook, you never make a mistake. You just sometimes don't pay attention. So we got a little bit stuck in there. So I'm going to just take a little bit of this out, honestly. Nobody has to be perfect. But let's get all that we can get in there. There we go. Let's get every, every last bit. So now remember, I've got the oven at 350, but I'm, as I put it in, I'm going to put it to 400 for just about five minutes. And then I'm going to drop it back down to 350. Just kind of smooth it out. Doesn't need to be perfect either. But you kind of want to get it even so that one side's not thicker than the other side. Give it a shake or two. There we go. All right. Into the oven it goes. Put it on the middle shelf. Oh, we got the wrong one going. It's okay. So in about five minutes, I'm going to go ahead and turn it back down to 350. But let me show you what the final product looks like. So let's have a look. It's just so easy. I love it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the strawberries. And so again, you know, just cut them into little teeny chunks here. So as you can see here, they're just nice and bite-sized pieces. I don't like them too big. I just like them, everything to be kind of delicate. So we've got that. I'm going to just put a little bit of this Lakanto. And again, just to your sweetness, if you've got a really sweet strawberry, we don't need a whole lot. But again, and I, and I, I would let this rest for a while. So again, while this is in the oven, this is going to allow some of the juices to come out. So hopefully we'll get kind of a nice little syrup that goes over it as well. So it can kind of drip down the side, make it even more interesting. And you can kind of taste it and see if it's to your liking because you don't want too much sweetness on it that, you know, you kind of, because sometimes alcohol sure can just be a bit intense. Perfect. All I added was a little tablespoon of the monk fruit and it was just perfect. I like a little of that tartness. So you can kind of use it to your taste whether you want it a little tartness of that, of that nice strawberry or you want it a little sweeter. Okay, let us put this together. So this is what it looks like when it's done. So again, it's so easy. It just looks like a kind of a big pound cake kind of, right? And so you could cut this into 12 squares, um, depending, you know, how big of an eater you are. But I'd say 12 squares are probably pretty good. I'm going to just get a knife here. But let's start with this end because I can see. Remember I said that if we don't get it perfectly even, then one side will be maybe a little thinner than the other but that's okay, we're not into perfection, we're into delicious and treats that we can actually eat and enjoy without feeling guilty. I mean, face it, we all want to have a little emotional eating sometimes. But when you're eating something that's not going to affect your blood sugar, well then again, you know, it's awesome because you can get away with it and still maintain uh, all of the things that you need to do, whether it's your weight or whether it's managing your glucose levels or even for those patients who are immune compromised, that we really have to keep their glucose down as low as possible. Oh, I can't wait to try this. I'm just going to cut that right in half. Getting excited. Okay. So let's go ahead and now again, if you let this sit for a little while longer, it's going to, as I said, let out some of its juice. So I would do that. 
and then you can have a nice little syrup. But if you play with it a little bit too and kind of massage it, it's going to release some of the liquid as well. So I like to put some around just because I think that everybody wants a little bit more strawberries, right? And then let's put a beautiful little heap of this nice coconut whipping cream right on top. Look at that. There you go. Now, was that the easiest thing ever? Your family are going to love it. You can even freeze this and take it out later for a Sunday where you're having a kind of, uh, you know, impromptu guests come over. I know we're in times where we're kind of a little bit at home alone, especially with this whole COVID thing, but it's just nice to treat ourselves emotionally. It gets our dopamine levels up so that we can really nurture what I call our internal environment rather than constantly being bombarded by the uh, the outer world of things that are happening that we have no control of. But we always have control of what we put in our mouth and what we put in our mind. So let's have a bite of this. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Got a little bit of everything. That whipping cream is nice and firm. My eyes went open because my mouth was chewing. Mmm. Fantastic. And I'm sure you and your family are going to enjoy this. Have a great day. See you soon.